Namaste everybody. Today's session is just going to be a nice, fun, easy yoga nidra practice. So go ahead and just get yourself comfortable, as comfortable as possible. And just begin to maybe take a break and go light some incense. Set a diffuser, anything you need to make yourself as comfortable as possible for the next few minutes. This is gonna be a short yoga nidra practice just because it's the holidays and a lot of times all we have is 10 or 15 minutes to relax. So I'm gonna go through what I do for myself each and every morning. And this is how I start my day, through mindfulness and meditation. So if you're laying on the floor, go ahead and put your left hand on your heart and put your right hand on your belly and you can sit down and try to keep that left hand, the chest, everything still and just begin to breathe with the belly. And feel the belly fill completely, totally. And just begin to observe what's going on in your body here. And if you're holding tension in the jaw or the back of the neck is a little sore, maybe the triceps or biceps through the elbows and the forearms, through the back, the spine, even the lower back, the sacrum. And maybe through the heart, deep, the lungs. Maybe you feel a little congested today. Maybe you're a little restricted in the throat or maybe the glands are swollen. Just observe what's going on in your body, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And feel through the glutes, and the hamstrings. And I just feel like what's going on, like through my knees, through the sides of the legs, the hip flexors, the IT band, the psoas, the nerves, all the way down through the shins and the calves and the ankles. I just observe, just a general observation of what's going on, of who you are right here, right now. And from that observation, I begin to set my attention. It could be whatever you want, but today I'm just setting an attention for a man that my wife and I saw pass away about a month ago in Kansas City. As he's driving home from work and he just he lost control of his car and he lost his life and he was going home to his wife and his daughters. So my intention is for that family that through this journey and this path, this holiday season, that they're able to find joy. I'm sending them positive energy today, as well as anybody else that has lost a loved one over the holidays. There's been so many people, their life was taken, right? So just observe what's going on in your body. What is it that you need today? I need to give some compassion, some kindness, some gentleness to those families, to each and every single one of you that have lost a loved one, that my heart goes out to you. Maybe for you today it's forgiveness, or maybe you just need some strength and just some energy that you're just so tired and so worn out over the holidays you just have given and given and given and given and you haven't taken that time for self-care. So maybe the next few minutes is all you have right now for self-care. And give that self to you. Give it to yourself. You deserve it. To be alone with yourself. Begin to feel your heartbeat. And begin to relax through the jaw. Allow the breath to become deep and methodical. Maybe today with me right here, you imagine that you're at the ocean with me and we're laying on the beach. We're laying on the sand and we hear the ocean waves coming in, that positive force of energy. And with each new ocean wave, it gives us that life force. It gives us that love, the passion, the creativity. I begin to breathe and manifest that in. Of 
trust, patience, of gratitude, of understanding. And those ocean waves, as they come to the shore, they pause, they crash, and so does my breath, it pauses. And then those waves are returned back to the ocean. That is my exhale. So the inhale is the ocean wave coming in, it pauses. And as the exhale, it's the ocean wave returning back and pausing. And then I begin to count my breath. I try to inhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. I pause for four, three, two, one. Then I exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Then I pause and hold for four, three, two, one. Then I just begin to allow myself to become more relaxed, more serene. I feel the tension in my jaw relax in the back of the neck. And I just begin. I begin to observe more of what's going on. All the feelings that I have externally. As I'm sitting here right now, the coolness of the floor and the coolness of the desk and the coolness of the air as it floats over my skin. And tonight as I took a walk, I could feel the snow hitting my face and the coolness of every single snowflake touching my face. Just begin to observe everything that you can feel from your rings and your watches to the clothing of the skin and skin against skin of where it's touching. Of where the clothing is loose or tight. Build that awareness with the sense of feeling of everything that's going on externally. And then dive in internally. As I send that positive energy to all those families that are in need that have struggled, that all those families that have lost somebody unexpected this time of the year. That you understand that you are truly loved and accepted unconditionally. That you're full of respect, honor, and pride. And that through this journey and this path that we're on, that there's times that we're high and that we're low and we're in between. But we believe in ourselves and we trust and love who we are. And that maybe we write a letter of intention to those people that we've lost to let them know how much they meant to us. We get all those feelings and those thoughts and emotions out and we write it down on paper or we type it up and we give it to those people. We allow ourselves raw and authentic and vulnerable and real. I continue to focus on my breath through this journey and this path. I continue to count my inhales, count the pauses and count the exhales. And when feelings and thoughts and emotions come up, I'm okay. I'm okay with the tears that come to the eyes. okay with sometimes the regret and the doubt and the fear. Then I begin to build my awareness. The awareness of what I hear, of all the sounds going on inside of this space. My family, my pets, my furry family, the sound of my breath, the sound of my voice, the cars that pass by, the sound of the creek out front, but more importantly, the self-dialogue of who I am today that I remind myself that I'm truly loved, that I'm truly cared for, that I'm more than enough, that I remind myself that I truly have transformed from that state of a victim into a hero. This is what I do each and every morning before I even get out of bed. This is the process that I go through. I'm giving you what I give myself. And 
then maybe with your eyes open or with your eyes closed of what you see. You can see the snow-capped mountains, the evergreens, the pines, the ponderosas. I can see the creek. I can see the wood floors and the wood walls and the trim, the various colors and textures and shadows that are all within this space of my interior and exterior. But, they, but then, but then I get, began to realize uh, who I am and who I've become with what I see, because the eyes are truly the window to the soul. And I fall madly in love with who I am right here, right now. I understand that once I love myself unconditionally and once I accept myself, then I can give that love and acceptance to my friends, my family, to complete strangers. But without seeing myself as that hero, without seeing myself as that warrior, as that, without seeing myself as that transformation, I'm unable to give that to anybody. So I see myself as capable, as strong, as bold, as creative, as energized. I build my awareness of all my surroundings, of what I feel externally and internally, what I hear externally and internally, and what I see externally and internally. And then I continue to set my intention for whatever is going on with me that day and that moment. And that intention may change. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoy just a short opportunity to be alone with yourself and to fall in love with yourself and to give of yourself. I hope your holidays are truly epic. I hope you really have an amazing, beautiful holiday season. And if there's anything I can do for you, feel free to reach out to me. Namaste.